Greetings, my fantastic friends. I'm ecstatic you've joined me here at Fizzabuff Labs, where faith meets science. Simple, yet extravagant, our experiment today is marvelously colorful. And you know, it reminds me of a Bible story about something that was also marvelously colorful. Joseph's coat of many colors. Today, you'll watch as color walks up white sheets of paper towel and becomes a stupendous display. We at Visibop Labs call it the walking rainbow. Are you ready? Then gather your fellow scientists, friends, and family. Make haste and let's begin. Today, I'm joined by my fellow Visibop scientist, Kinley. We practice safety first at Fizzlebop Labs, so here is a safety warning. This experiment requires scissors, so please ask an adult for assistance with this experiment. Next, we need to gather a few supplies for our experiment. We'll read the Fizzlebop supply list and show you the items. And then, if you want to pause the video to go gather your supplies, I promise we'll wait right here until you come back and push play. The items in the Fizzlebop supply list will create one walking rainbow. So if you have several scientists gathered together, be sure to get supplies for each person. You will need seven eight ounce 240 milliliter glasses or plastic cups, four cups for 960 milliliters of water, food coloring, red, yellow, and blue, a roll of paper towels, and a pair of scissors. Here's a fizz tip. Paper towels that divide into half sheets and are highly absorbent work best. If you need to gather supplies, right now is a magnificent time to pause the video to conduct, which means to do that activity. Now it's time for some fantastic science fun. Are you ready for the experiment? Kinley, are you ready? Yes. Fantastic. First, we need to put all seven clear cups or glasses in a row and fill the first, third, fifth, and seventh cups nearly to the top with water. Leave the others empty. And you'll want to make sure your glasses are close together. Fill the first cup. And the third. Now the fifth. And finally, we're gonna fill up the seventh. Fantastic. All right, for our next step, we're going to add 10 drops of red food coloring to the first cup and the seventh. Fantastic. Now, we're going to add 10 drops of yellow food coloring to the third cup. Wonderful. And now, we're going to add 10 drops of blue food coloring to the fifth cup. Quite a colorful display. Next, we need to take our paper towels and we're going to rip six half sheets of paper towel from our roll. If you have regular sized paper towels, rip off three sheets and cut them in half lengthwise. You can see we do have half sheets. Now, this is very important. We're going to fold each half sheet of paper towel in half lengthwise and half again lengthwise. That's in half once, and now in half again. Lengthwise means the longer of the paper towel. Once you have six paper towels ready, trim the paper towel sheets so they are about eight inches or 20 centimeters long. All right, make sure the ends of the paper towels can reach the bottoms of each cup from one cup to the next cup to it. You can do this by putting it in front and seeing that it looks like it's gonna to touch the bottom and go over between them. 
fizz tip. If you use taller glasses, you may need to leave the paper towels full length. Now, place one end of your folded paper towel in the first cup and place the other end in the second cup. Just like that. Then do the same with another paper towel from the second cup into the third cup. Continue this process, third cup to fourth, fourth to fifth, fifth to sixth, sixth to seventh, for all seven cups. Okay. Observe what happens. The experiment might take a little time, so you may want to check back occasionally, which might be every few minutes, to observe the progress of your experiment and evaluate how the color in each cup changes. Wow, what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. What do you think is happening? The rainbow is walking. The rainbow is actually walking. You guys see how we're going from red to orange to yellow to green to blue to purple to red. Dr. Fizzball, what is happening? Well, while you should immediately see the colored water absorb into the paper towels, what happens in the empty cups is the wondrous part. You may have had to check back every couple of minutes like we did, but eventually you observed that the colored water walked up each paper towel and it started to walk down into the neighboring empty cup. A little longer and those empty cups filled with colored water. And by the end of the experiment, all the cups would have about the same amount of water in them. Since the empty cups started with a different color on either side, red, yellow, blue, red, the colors blended together, giving us three brand new colors added to our lineup of cups. Orange, green, and purple. We've officially made a... Walking rainbow. Yes, magnificent. Isn't science neato and even wondrous? You can visit fizzlebop.com for more faith in science fun, experiments, and ways to connect with me, Dr. Fizzlebop, and your fellow scientists here at Fizzlebop Labs. Kinley, thanks for your help today. Stick around for a fantastic look into the Bible. I don't know about you, but this experiment was vibrant, which means bright, and fantastically fizzalicious. God's wondrous world is truly magnificent. God is so creative, and I just love all the colors he thought of. Have you ever tried to come up with a new color before? Let me tell you, it's a real brain buster. Colors are all around us, and there's a story in the Bible all about a colorful object. Take a minute and open up your Bible to Genesis 37. Joseph was one of the 12 sons of Jacob, and Jacob gave him something very special, a colorful robe. That robe was definitely a fantastic gift, but even though Joseph really liked the robe, his brothers were jealous instead of ecstatic for him. Have you ever been jealous before? Jealousy is when you look at something someone else has and you wish you had it instead of them. God actually warned us about jealousy. In Exodus 20, 17, God said, you must not covet or be jealous of your neighbor's house or anything else that belongs to your neighbor. But why would God warn us about jealousy? Well, jealousy is super sneaky. It starts like a little bit of color traveling through a paper towel until it reaches the other side. And suddenly you see color everywhere. The color is jealousy. One minute you're doing swell, and the next minute you're feeling like nothing will be marvelous again until you have what belongs to someone else. You see, one time I got super jealous. It happened when I entered this huge science experiment competition. Each scientist was supposed to create his or her own special experiment, and then the judges would decide which one was the most magnificent. Well, my experiment went well, but my friend, Dr. Swishpop, had an experiment that honestly was better than mine. Her experiment was stupendous, but I let jealousy get in the way. And instead of being excited for my friend, I was jealous inside. 
In fact, I didn't talk to her the whole rest of the competition. Later, I stopped and remembered this very story about Joseph and his brothers who were jealous. And so I went and congratulated Dr. Wishpop and asked God for forgiveness for my jealousy. You see, if you're feeling jealous of someone else, you need to take a second and thank God for that person. Thank God for the gift that he gave to them. And then thank God for the gifts and good things he's given you. You might be surprised at how many good things God has done for you that you can be thankful for. As you ponder, which means to think about the experiment and devotional, take a moment to answer these questions or discuss with your fellow scientists. What new colors did you see created? Did any of the colors walk more quickly than others? Think of a time you were jealous of someone. How did you handle your jealousy? Amazing creator, forgive us when we feel jealous of other people. Help us to be excited for them and help us to be thankful for all the good things you've done for us. Thank you for being a wondrous God who does wondrous things. Amen. I hope you've had as fantastic of a time as I have here at Fizzabop Labs. Until our next experiment, remember our amazing creator is ecstatic about you and he will always be here for you.